Hello everyone. In this problem statement, we have to find uh, Sue's number, which is there in the XML file, and they are telling to download it manually. So let's download this and see. And we have to extract the prefix as well as the cell number and put it here. That's what it is. So I have downloaded it already. Uh, let me go to my folder, and let's quickly open this and see how does this look. So basically, it's an XML file in which the structure is the number, the prefix, the number, the genre, or whatever. So I have to just pick it up for these two uh, for Sue's number. Okay. So how do we do this? Pause this video for a second, think about the strategy, and then watch the remaining video. It's pretty straightforward, but let's take a look. I will go to the modules, and I will. All I have to do is I have to scan. That particular text box in which we have to input the Sue's number, and then we have to use the file scan. I'll showcase that in a minute. So let me quickly capture this. All I got to do is get this. So I have selected this. I will just update the title to make it more dynamic. So I'll put the wildcard here. I'll click on OK, and I'll put the obstacle number. So our module is ready. Okay, to close this. I will drag and drop this thing into the test case. So seven two nine five four. Or rather, I'll put it here. Okay, I'll just rename this. Okay, so the first thing is we have to access the XML file. Okay, so for that, how it works is. You have standard modules to read the XML file. Okay, so what I can do is in my test case, I can search and add test step, or you can go via standard modules as well. I'll type in XML here, and you will see that uh, we'll have something open create XML. Okay, so I will select this, and I'll put it on the top. So the first thing is I have to define the resource in the file path. Okay, so just put any name so i'm putting catalog here okay but then you need to mention where does the file exist so i'll go here i'll click on this it is in my downloads folder so i'll give this particular location i'll click on open so basically that is going to give the path here so if i ex expand this here you see the path is uploaded okay now we have successfully able to open the xml file but we have to read this particular file right so for that we have to create a module okay how does that work is i'll go to my obstacle i'll right click i'll click on scan well application would not work in this case because it is a file but we do have option for that in tosca so you go to more you'll get this option called file scan so if you click on that you just select the file which you want to read and i'll click on open so basically what this will do is it will create the structure okay so if i go here you see resources there xml declaration catalog and uh, we have inside this number and then prefix id number genre so it will take the structure and it will create like this okay so that's all we have to do now i can drag and drop this thing into my test case and i'll put it here and i'll move this up okay so we we have successfully opened the file here now we have to get the details okay so if you would have noticed in the xml file which we opened before id contains the name okay so i have to search with the name so if i click on this it's taking mike because that's the first one uh, that's the first name but i can put a constraint so right now we have very less records but uh, we want to search that so i can put so the name here for which we have to find the prefix and the number okay now it becomes very easy to traverse through the record and get this particular uh, locate this particular uh, item and then i have to get the prefix in the number so pretty straightforward i will select buffer i can probably put pre here and i can put buffer and i can put number here okay so we have successfully buffered the two values pre and number and now all i got to do is i have to paste this thing in this okay so two buffers i will just put in the correct syntax b and then i will put 
pre because they want it with the prefix. I'll close this and I'll put another buffer b add num and I'll click out of it. It should display something like this. So we have opened the file, we have read it, we have put a constraint so that it goes to the right record and then we have buffered the uh, the pre number whatever is the extension and then the number and then we are pasting that here now let's run this and see if it works okay so we have some issue we'll take a look at that either a resource okay so my bad so basically whenever we define a resource here we need to keep the same name here so that it understands that which file it needs to locate to so if i put catalog here basically what it does is uh, it uses this particular resource name with whatever file is open and then reads the record so this should work now i will click on run so it will open the xml file it will go to the record it will fetch the value and then it will put it here so see we were able to successfully retrieve sue's number and our automation problem is solved this is how you work with the xml files uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. Do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.